Dr. Elizabeth Parker adjusted her glasses, her brow furrowed in concentration. Years of research culminated in this moment. The Oakmont Quantum Research Institute vibrated with the hum of advanced machinery, its heart the Hadron Nexus, a behemoth designed to explore the fringes of quantum physics. Today, its purpose was singular, to bridge the gap between universes. The experiment aimed to exploit the bizarre phenomenon of quantum entanglement, where particles linked defy distance, sharing an instant a spooky action at a distance. Parker theorized that by creating entangled pairs across a dimensional membrane, they could pierce the veil separating realities. As the Hadron Nexus were to life, the tension in the lab was palpable. Parker's team, each a luminary in their field, monitored the readings with bated breath. Suddenly, a surge of energy unlike anything they'd witnessed erupted. Alarms blared, the lab bathed in an eerie violet glow. The Nexus overloaded, spitting Parker out into a vortex of swirling colors. She landed hard, disoriented, in a sterile room mirroring her own lab. Yet subtle differences sent shivers down her spine. News on a holographic screen blared about advancements in teleportation, technology deemed impossible in her world. This wasn't just another lab, it was a testament to a reality where science had taken a radically different path. Emerging from the shock, Parker's scientific curiosity ignited. She encountered counterparts, her lab assistant, Mark, now a jaded cynic burdened by wartime scars, her mentor, Dr. Vance, hardened by a political climate hostile to scientific progress. Yet, their core humanity shone through, reminding her of the universal threads that bind all beings. Driven by both scientific intrigue and a burgeoning sense of responsibility, Parker delved deeper. This world wasn't just different, it was riddled with cracks. Environmental anomalies hinted at a fragile dimensional fabric, and whispers of a clandestine group manipulating interdimensional travel sent shivers down her spine. Suddenly, her exploration was interrupted. A shadowy figure materialized, its form flickering between realities, its voice an unsettling chorus. It warned her of consequences for meddling, hinting at a force seeking to exploit the multiverse for its own nefarious ends. The revelation was stark. Her journey wasn't just about exploration, it was about survival. The fate of two universes, perhaps more, hung in the balance. Fear pulsed through Parker, but so did a steely resolve. She wouldn't be intimidated. This wasn't just a scientific quest, it was a fight for the very fabric of existence. This is just the beginning of Dr. Elizabeth Parker's odyssey. As she navigates the treacherous landscape of the multiverse, unravels the hidden threat, and faces the echoes of her choices, her adventure unfolds across dimensions, shaping not just her own destiny, but the fate of countless realities. The enigmatic figure vanished as abruptly as it appeared, leaving Parker reeling. Its unsettling warning echoed in her mind, meddling with the multiverse had consequences. Fear battled with defiance in her heart. She wouldn't succumb to threats. Understanding this hidden force, who they were, their motives, and their connection to the dimensional instability, was crucial. But navigating this unfamiliar universe required discretion. Parker decided to confide in her counterpart, Mark. He listened intently, his scarred face betraying a flicker of hope amidst the cynicism. The war, he revealed, had been fought against interdimensional incursions, leaving deep mistrust towards anything unknown. The clandestine group manipulating travel, the weavers, as they were called, were shrouded in secrecy, rumored to be manipulating realities for their own gain. Their conversation was interrupted by an earsplitting alarm. The nexus in this universe, far different from her own, pulsated with erratic energy. A malfunction threatened to tear open a dimensional rift, potentially spilling forth chaos. Parker, remembering her expertise with the Hadron Nexus back home, volunteered to help stabilize it. Mark, hesitant yet grateful, led her to the control room. The sight was overwhelming. Holographic displays hummed with complex data, technicians scrambled in panic. Stepping forward, Parker recognized the core principles despite the technological advancements. With Mark's assistance, she identified the critical error, a feedback loop amplifying dimensional energy. Hours blurred into a tense dance of calculations and adjustments. Parker's familiarity with quantum mechanics guided her, but the nuances of this alternate nexus kept her on edge. Finally, with a collective sigh of relief, the energy levels stabilized. The rift began to seal, averting immediate disaster. Exhausted but victorious, Parker earned the grudging respect of the team. Yet, the close call underscored the urgency of her mission. The Weavers weren't merely manipulating travel, they were actively destabilizing the dimensional fabric, potentially triggering catastrophic consequences. 
With Mark's war-honed instincts and her scientific expertise, they formed an unlikely alliance. Their first step, infiltrate the Weaver's secretive headquarters, hidden within a labyrinthine network of abandoned dimensional rifts. Mark procured salvage tech, a cloaking device cobbled together from alien artifacts. Disguised and armed with stolen data, they ventured into the unknown, adrenaline coursing through their veins. As they delved deeper, the true scope of the Weaver's operation unfolded. Twisted machines harvested dimensional energy, feeding a colossal device pulsating with ominous power. Its purpose remained unclear, but the sheer scale sent chills down Parker's spine. This wasn't just about manipulating travel, they aimed to tear open the very fabric of the multiverse, unleashing unimaginable consequences. Suddenly, alarms blared. They were discovered. A chase ensued, a desperate sprint through shimmering corridors warped by dimensional energy. Lasers grazed their cloaking device, pushing it to its limits. Just as they neared an escape portal, their pursuers cornered them. But amidst the chaos, a familiar figure emerged from the shadows. It was Vance, Parker's counterpart, his eyes filled with newfound resolve. He held off the weavers, buying them precious seconds. His sacrifice allowed them to escape, but also painted a target on their backs. Back in the familiar confines of Mark's lab, the weight of Vance's sacrifice hung heavy. They had glimpsed the Weaver's true power and nefarious purpose. But they also gained a valuable ally, a scientist driven by the same sense of responsibility Parker embodied. The fight was far from over, but their resolve had solidified. They were no longer just two strangers in a strange land, they were a team, united against a threat that transcended realities. The echoes of their choices resonated across the multiverse, urging them forward. In their next chapter, they would unravel the secrets of the Weaver's machine, forge alliances with unlikely allies, and face the true cost of traversing the echoes. The fate of countless realities hung in the balance, and Dr. Elizabeth Parker, with her newfound companions, was at the heart of the storm. The escape from the Weaver's grasp had been harrowing, fueled by adrenaline and Vance's sacrifice. Now, back in Mark's lab, a tense silence hung heavy. Parker stared at the data they'd managed to steal, a chaotic jumble of energy signatures and cryptic symbols. Deciphering this information was their only hope of understanding the Weaver's ultimate goal and finding a way to stop them. This tech is unlike anything I've ever seen, Mark mumbled, tracing patterns on the holographic display. It's pulling energy from multiple realities, feeding it into that machine they were building. But for what? Parker ran a hand through her hair, exhaustion warring with determination. The sheer scale of it, they're not just manipulating travel, they're trying to tear apart the fabric of the multiverse itself. But why? Vance, his features grim, spoke up from the corner, his injuries bandaged but his spirit far from broken. Remember the whispers I told you about, Parker? Legends of an ancient race, the architects, who supposedly built the very foundation of the multiverse. Architects? Parker raised an eyebrow. Sounds more like myth than reality. Vance chuckled dryly. Myths often hold grains of truth, especially in a reality like this, steeped in forgotten sciences. The Weavers might be searching for artifacts left behind by these architects, seeking to control the multiverse itself. A cold knot formed in Parker's stomach. If the Weavers succeeded, the consequences were unimaginable. Entire realities could be consumed, timelines rewritten, and the very fabric of existence ripped apart. The stakes had just been raised exponentially. Suddenly, a holographic message flickered to life. It was Anya, a young scientist Parker briefly encountered at the Nexus control room. Her expression was urgent. They know you escaped. They're searching everywhere. You need to leave now. Where can we go? Mark asked, his voice tight. Anya hesitated, then pointed to a specific point on the holographic map. There's an abandoned research facility on the outskirts, rumored to hold technology salvaged from an ancient dimensional rift. It might be just what you need. Hope flickered in Parker's eyes. This facility could hold the key to understanding the Weaver's technology, or even offer a weapon to fight back. But reaching it without being caught would be a perilous journey. We need to move fast, Parker declared, her voice firm. Mark, Anya, gather what supplies you can. Vance, any insights into the abandoned facility? Vance nodded, his eyes gleaming with the fire of renewed purpose. I might have some old schematics tucked away. Let's just hope they're accurate. Fueled by a shared sense of urgency, they moved with practiced efficiency. Parker, aided by Mark's knowledge of the city's hidden routes, devised an escape plan, weaving through back alleys and abandoned subways. 
Anya, surprisingly adept at hacking into security systems, disabled trackers and rerouted patrols. Vance, despite his injuries, provided invaluable technical expertise, deciphering ancient schematics and guiding them through hidden passages. Their escape wasn't smooth. Close calls with Weaver's patrols kept their adrenaline pumping. Anya used her hacking skills to create diversions, while Mark's military background came in handy during tense encounters. Parker, using her understanding of dimensional anomalies, helped them slip through hidden shortcuts within the city's infrastructure. Finally, after a harrowing journey, they reached the abandoned facility. It was a decaying monument to a forgotten age, its metallic shell scarred by time and dimensional storms. Anya's stolen maps guided them through the labyrinthine corridors, the air thick with dust and a sense of forgotten secrets. They reached a central chamber, its heart a massive device humming with unfamiliar energy. Parker's breath hitched. This was unlike anything she'd ever seen, its technology blending ancient principles with unknown advancements. Could this be the key to understanding the Weaver's plans, or something even more dangerous? The echoes of their choices resonated around them, heavier than ever. The line between savior and destroyer felt dangerously thin. The journey through the echoes had led them here, but the true test, the defining moment of their fight, was just beginning. The colossal device loomed in the center of the chamber, humming with an otherworldly thrum. Its intricate design defied categorization, blending ancient symbols with pulsating energy conduits beyond Parker's comprehension. A thick layer of dust covered its surface, obscuring its purpose further. This has to be what Anya was talking about, Mark muttered, his voice echoing in the vast chamber. Salvage tech from an ancient dimensional rift. But what does it do? Vance, leaning heavily on his cane, studied the device with narrowed eyes. The energy signature, it's similar to the weaver's machine, but somehow older, purer. Perhaps it predates even the architects. Intrigued, Parker stepped closer, her fingers tracing the cryptic symbols etched into the device's surface. As she did, a faint tingling sensation shot through her hand, a surge of information flooding her mind. Images flashed, swirling galaxies, colossal beings manipulating energy flows, and a catastrophic event tearing apart the fabric of reality. She stumbled back overwhelmed. Visions of a forgotten past unfolded before her, hinting at the device's purpose and the true nature of the multiverse. It wasn't just a tool for travel, it was a stabilizer, a safeguard against dimensional collapse. The weavers sought to pervert its power, exploiting it to tear worlds apart for their own gain. Sharing her vision with Mark and Vance, a grim understanding settled upon them. This wasn't just a fight against a rogue organization, it was a battle against the very forces of cosmic entropy, a fight to preserve the delicate balance of existence. Suddenly, the chamber doors hissed open. Weavers stormed in, led by a towering figure clad in dark armor, its face obscured by a metallic mask. There you are, the figure boomed, its voice distorted by a modulator. Hand over the technology. It belongs to us. A tense standoff ensued. Parker knew they were outnumbered, outgunned. But backing down wasn't an option. This device could be the key to stopping the weavers, and with it, preventing the unraveling of the multiverse. A frantic idea sparked in her mind. Remembering the tingling sensation from touching the device, she focused her will, channeling her understanding of quantum mechanics. Energy flared around her, resonating with the device. It hummed louder, responding to her touch. Before the weavers could react, the device activated. A blinding light filled the chamber, momentarily disorienting everyone. When the light subsided, the weavers were gone, transported to some unknown location. The chamber, however, had transformed. An intricate holographic map materialized, depicting the entire multiverse, each reality represented by a shimmering sphere. But one sphere pulsed erratically, threatening to burst. It was the Weaver's target, a reality on the brink of collapse. We need to get there, Parker declared, her voice resolute. We have to stabilize that reality before it's too late. Mark and Vance exchanged weary glances, but their determination mirrored Parker's. This was their chance to turn the tide, to fight back against the weavers and prevent a cosmic catastrophe. The abandoned facility held one last secret, a dormant starship salvaged from a lost dimension. Using their combined knowledge, they managed to activate it, the ancient vessel groaning back to life. With hearts pounding and hope flickering, they embarked on their most perilous journey yet, a transdimensional voyage to a reality on the verge of oblivion. The echoes of their choices resonated louder than ever. They were no longer just traversing the echoes, they were shaping them, becoming beacons of defiance against a growing darkness. 
The fate of countless realities hung in the balance, and Dr. Elizabeth Parker, her unlikely companions by her side, was at the helm, navigating a storm that threatened to consume the very fabric of existence.